welcome back to my channel. So, I know it's been a while since I did my beauty part of pan type of update video. I decided to go ahead and just do another one because I know you guys wonder like when are you gonna actually add more empties and you know that kind of thing. I thought it's a better idea just to go ahead and show you guys what I am going through and what will be in the empties video very very soon. So miss you guys, stay tuned. For that. Hey, if you are new to my channel, I will love to press subscribe, make sure to notifications on, and let me know in the comment section down below what other future videos you want to see. And make sure you guys also don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. It's like my first and last name, and then you just find me on there. That's literally it. Anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so first thing you guys I want to talk about is this Bioderma Makeup Mover muscular solution. I'm right here, you guys. This is getting so close right now. I'll definitely put this in my next month empties. Time I go to Costco, I will always buy a big bottle of this because this stuff is so good. Then also when that one does rent out, I'm gonna go to this brand new Burning Skin Active Muscle Closet Water and see all-in-one brightening, boosts makeup and cleans and glow, prints, nourish rubbing, face lips and eyes, skin even sensitive. No oil fragrance and turn just for Safety. It's like my very first one that I have ever gonna be trying. But also, if I ever get any cleansing bombs or any cleansing waters I get in my boss charm, I will still put them back there and you guys will see them in my upcoming like future videos. I guess to know is I'm gonna be saving all three of my boss charms. Like if you guys see them, they're gonna be behind me and then I will open all three of them at the same time. All right, you guys know I'm still working on my cellulose sprays. So first one you guys know I'm already still using right now, but this is not really empty yet. The Garnet Made Sheer Avi Medifying Cell Spray Control Oils Minimal Pores and Trauma Long Wear and Hydration. If I ever go to TJ Maxx and I ever find a set of different cell sprays, I will totally keep them and I'll totally buy them because I love cell spray because it's one of my last favorite things I need. So once that one does run out pretty soon, I'm gonna go to this Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mist. The first one I've ever go through. Actually, this is my first one of my Pixie one in my monthly empty. I love Pixie and I love their cell sprays. I really want to get back to that milky mist and then I also want to get back to try not more. But you guys, these are really, they're not that expensive, but they're very, very affordable. All right, the other thing you guys want to know about my nail polish, Roll, Roll Out Collecting Salute Lucive. This is the Freda's New 350. So, that's this one. And this will be definitely be an empty very soon. Nail polish into my other nail polishes. And I have two other ones in my empties. So we're gonna see that in my future empties type of thing. And then the other one we're working on right now is the Pink Armor Nail Gel. See all that glitter stuff right there? That's the stuff I put in. I'm really glad I put this in my nail polish because that way it's like easier. I just like want to have some little glitter on my actual nails. All right, you guys know I'm already working on these powders. So I'm already using the Hard Candy Cheer Evie Loose Translucent Loose Powder. Do you guys see that line right there? That's literally how far I am. There's still a lot of powder in here, but when you guys see in my monthly of my products, you see a lot of empties. Like, trust me, I hope we want to do this video, a lot of these kind of videos for a really long time. But once this one does run out, I will totally buy more of these on Amazon and maybe a Dollar General or something like that. And then I'll go to this 110 Fair Light from Revolution Photo Ready. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys ever want to do a full first impressions of the full Photo Ready 
type of products because I would love to know like in the comment section down below. This Hurricane one rinse out and then you guys know I will go straight to this one. And then of course, I'm still working on my bronzers. So you guys know I'm already working on this Too Faced Milk Chocolate so Arlie Longwear Made Bronzer. What I did is I put LA Color Bronzer into this one. See, that one right there. And the reason why I did that, because I thought it'd be better so I can get this like product out of my collection. And that's literally how much that pan I have left. This is the LA Color Bronzer. This is the shade Sun Goddess. But these two will definitely be the end of because I love going through bronzers. It's really good to do is that if you guys are ever going through your products and they're actually empty, it's really good to like go through your products and if they have any empty that you forgot to put in your empty bag, it's really good just to go, okay, this is already empty. I forgot to put that in the empty bag. Just put it in your empty bag. And that way you guys don't hold on to hold all the products. It's really good to go through it and that way you would know buy. So that way if you guys ever want to give your money and you know, always like make better choices of different products that are in out or something like that. And the other thing you guys still no, I'm still working on my bra product. So the one I'm already working on first is this Pixi Pencil Gel Natural Brow Duo the Deep Brunette. I can't wait to get more of these in my bus charm because I love, love this bra product so much. And then the other one I put on is the Wonder Beauty Hair Gel. This is gonna be out anytime soon. I definitely need more brow gels and more brow pencils very very soon and good thing i put this elf called medium see this is the one i'm gonna go through next like this one's gonna be out anytime soon but i'm gonna show you guys how much this one has left do i see that by that time this is gonna be out any time soon i would say probably the next few days or so and then you guys know i'm still working on these ones I decided to go ahead and just put all three of these liners because you guys know that these eyeliners, like I go through, they go through pretty fast. So first one I have is the Hard Case Stay In Line Medical Eyeliner. This one has a lot in here. See, that's literally how much I have left. And you guys know I'm working on this LA Colors eyeliner that I bought from the Dollar Tree a long time ago. You guys see that? That's literally how much I have left. So this is gonna be empty pretty soon. And then this is the one I got in my points from Bora. And I really can't wait to get a full size of this product. I'm gonna show you guys how much this one has left. That's literally also how much I have left. And then these are also the other glitters I'm already working on. It's a good thing I put this heart kitty one next to it. Right, the one I'm already working on, you guys know I'm already working on, is the 353C Groupie from When Wild. That's literally, I'm still working on. Really good, I put the heart candy and then also the one I already going through right now. I put it mixed together so that way I can kind of like go through it. You'll definitely see this in my upcoming Project Japan type videos. One does go out. I have the 352C Newcomber. See, I'm still, I'm not there yet, but it's, there's still a lot of product in here. And then of course I have this extra one. This is the Hard Candy eyeshadow called M.O. See, there's still a lot in here. If you ever get any of these glitters of hard candy, I will put them in my empties and of course I will buy more of these stack hard candy sets in my, my future videos. If you guys wanna see that, let me know in the comment section down below. All right, you guys know I'm gonna work on this Great Lash Maybelline. New York mascara. I still know they do have these in Ipsy and Bossy Charm. Mascara is 
really good if you guys have really thick lashes. Here's what the wand looks like. Looks like one of those like brow type of mascaras. Other thing I don't have, but if I ever get some in my boss charm, I'll put them in my brow product collection because I need more of that so bad. And then you guys know I'm working on this Bobbi Brown Beige Creamy Concealer AT Creaminess Cream. I see the first one right there, literally how much I've been going through. This is a really, really good concealer if you guys ever want to get pretty expensive. But if you guys ever want to do a full face of Bobbi Brown or Morphe or Pixie or anything like that, that I get in my Boss Charms or different other brands that I get in my Boss Charms, I will definitely do a full face of that, like first impressions type video. I'll definitely get more of these pretty soon because I love this concealer. And of course, these are the other lippies I'm also working on. First one I'm working on right now is the 20 Pig and Copper Lipstick. That is that's, that's not really that much, but you guys can see there's still, there's some other products in here, but I'm still going through it. Ever gets to the end, I will definitely scrape it out and I'll definitely put it into this one. I promise you guys, and then I'll definitely go to my other lipsticks from CoverGirl. So this will definitely be in my Inst video, and if I ever get more of these in my Boss Charm and Ipsy. So stay tuned, you guys. And then the other one I have is the Victoria's Secret Violet Made Cream Lip Stain Lipstick. They're only $14. If you guys ever want to get this for an affordable price, make sure you guys can't afford it. Then you can always buy this online. And you can also, there's like different shades. The little plastic thing out of here so that way I can scrape it on the inside so I can just like use it. And I'll definitely buy more of these shades also. I would love Victoria's Secret to be in Moss Charm, don't you guys think? And then the other one I have is this other Maybelline. This is the 580 Plum Sparkle. And if you guys ever want to get this, this is what the packaging looks like. And then here is what the inside of the lipstick also looks like. So this will be next anytime soon. And then the other one I also put aside are these two. The other one I have is this mini also size lipstick. The other one I got in my Morphe of the points and they have this one in there. I was like, oh my gosh. The 246 Slow Burn. And that's what also what the lipstick looks like too. If I ever do the same thing for my other one, I will definitely scrape it the inside, put in the other one, because that's why it's really good to do that lipstick. So that way you can kind of go through them. And if you have any other lipsticks that are actually out, it's a good way to do it. So make sure you guys stay tuned for this one in my next end video. And then you guys know I'm still working on this CoverGirl 40 lipstick. So this is how much I still have left. I didn't use it yet, but I'm still gonna go through this really, really soon. So stay tuned. And you guys know I'm still working on are these two eyeshadow palettes. So what I'm already using is the Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette. Right now I'm already working on this shade, this shade, this shade, and this shade. When all of these do run out, I will still continue going through this entire row. I'm going outwards, just to let you guys know. And then, of course, I'm still working on this Marc Jacobs palette. If you're wondering about what this palette's called, it's called the 800 Flamboyant Ink. So I'm still working on this shade, this shade, and this shade right here. I don't know when these two will definitely be used, but I'm still trying to like get these like other products like out of my collection. This entire palette, so stay tuned for these palettes, you guys. Never ever add a palette into the empties. Really, really proud. I'm already like trying to get these products like out of my collection for good. I'll hold on to them and so I can try out 
new palettes and have new palettes I could test out and love and fall in love with it. You guys know I'm already working on these two primers still. This is the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. That I mean, there's still a lot of product in here. If I ever get an extra one of these in my boss charm, I'd be really, really happy. That one does get close and right out. I'll fill it up with this one because I'm trying to get my old primers out of my collection. I don't know when I'll be getting a ton of primers in my boss charm, but I'm really, really happy I'm doing it. The Bam Minerals Violet Lit Glow Primer. This is such a good primer. If I find any primers at TJ Maxx, I will still use them because I love trying out new primers from TJ Maxx and it's really good to stock up my primers because I don't know when I'll be going through all of them. So you guys know I have not used this one yet. I think this is actually in Bossy Charm. The World L Paris True Match Super Blendable Blush. It's the instant flush of N34. So that's what that one looks like. But this will probably be the next one very soon. And then here is the other one you guys know I'm still using. This is the Royal Paris True Match Super Blendable Blush. It's the C34 Tender Rose. I'm really glad I crumpled it up so that way I can kind of like go through it. This will probably be empty. I don't know when, but it will still be used up. And I'll definitely just continue going through it. Trying to get these other blushes like out of my collection for good. Okay, so you know I told you guys, this is the other stuff. This is like the last stuff I'm gonna talk about. You know I told you guys that I'm gonna try to get this one out of my collection. What I did is I kinda, so I actually used my tool and I was like actually kind of scraping this out. But it's a good thing I put it into Smashbox Highlighter. You guys know I had that pot of right out. So I decided to fill it up into this one. And now that's the one I'm really going through. You guys ever want to do what I'm doing, I highly re recommend it. Did is I scraped it with my tool. I used my stone spray about three pumps and I just kind of twirl it around and I keep scraping it until this thing is filled up. I really like it doing it. And then it's already completely dried up. You want to wait until it's dry so that way you can use it. And when this one does go out, I'm going to keep scraping this thing out. And then when this one does completely go out, keep filling this thing up. And then I'll grab another highlighter. Which this one, because this is the other one I'm, I really, really want to go through. The Wet n Wild Highlighter Powder. This is the 319 B Balloon Glow. And I'm really, really happy I'm going through this. I guess to know, it does not mean like, oh, she's just going through it because she doesn't really like makeup. No. What I'm actually doing is that I'm actually making room for new products. And so that way, if I still have products that are like brand new, I have not touched it or have not used yet, I can still save that and I can still like use it and then I can still try out other powders and other blushes and that kind of thing in my collection. I'm really, really happy when I go through this one very soon. So keep an eye on this one in my Project Pan videos. Alright guys, so that is all of my Project Pan type of products keep everything up here so that way if i'm ever going through this stuff i will still include them in my int video and so that way i can do so much better but the other thing we're working on is this garden of hate signature daily finical toilet this is the other one i'm already working on and i also have a backup just in case if one of these two do right now. I have about four more on my skincare little vanity thing. That way I can just go through them and add them to the empties. And I gotta say you guys, it feels so much better to literally get a lot of these products out of my collection. Definitely see more hair care, dress shampoos, slip tanners, all of that stuff in my future empties. I love you guys all so much. And if you guys have any other suggestions for like fun content, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys have any other suggestions, I would love to know in the comment section down below because please 
please leave suggestions in the comments because I really need you guys to just, like support and just help me to like get more videos like coming and all that stuff because I need you guys' help. I love you guys all so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!